okay, a very good afternoon to um, to everybody, uh, to the chair, uh, and my uh, thanks to the Sri Lanka Medical Association and the APEC uh, conference uh, for accepting this oral presentation. So uh, my name is Dr. Xiao Ching Sing. I would like to present about the relationship quality among Malaysian couples during the COVID-19 pandemic and its associated predictors. Okay, as an introduction, um, following the novel COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia, we have enacted our own kind of lockdown, which is called the Movement Control Order, and it was enforced since uh, 18 March 2020. Since then, um, this MCO, as we call it, has been extended four times, and actually today is the end of our fourth MCO. So because of the lockdown, it resulted in many changes in the daily activities of couples and in the increased time spent with families. So um, in the past, uh, most studies okay, on the effects of COVID-19 has focused on more like mental health aspects such as depression, anxiety, and not many of them have focused on uh, couple relationships. Hence, we had an online survey which examined the relationship quality of married and cohabiting Malaysian couples and what are their associated predictors. So in terms of methods, we have a total of 235 individuals who were married or cohabiting with their partners who participated in this study. And uh, out of them, a majority of them were females. In terms of procedures, we employed the following questionnaires, the Triple P Positive Parenting Program, Relation quality, uh, Relationship Quality Index, the GAD7 to measure anxiety, Short Bottom Proneness Scale, Short Scale for measuring loneliness in large surveys, and the WHO Wellbeing Index. So we used an online questionnaire platform <clears throat> and we approached participants using the snowball sampling method. Based on our multiple linear regression, we found that um, those people with children um, were more significant, were significantly um, reported uh, significantly less uh, relationship quality, uh, which as we can see, uh, Okay, a B negative 2.309 and the beta is negative 0.156. Uh, on the other hand, um, living in the urban do uh, rural domicile okay, uh, was more conducive, uh, was associated with more positive relationship quality. Uh, on the other hand, those, uh, those who had uh, better well-being, okay, uh, and uh, higher anxiety and lower spousal violence uh, also reported a uh, better relationship quality. Okay, so uh, in conclusion, we feel that the family-related stresses such as taking care of children and the occurrence of spousal violence need to be addressed in the face of uh, such a widespread uh, disease and in the face of the COVID-19 lockdown, especially for urban couples who may deal with the new normal, uh, they, since they may have more frequent family interactions and also due to more uh, childhood uh, children responsibilities uh, due to the school closure. That is all my presentation. Thank you very much.